everyone welcome back to 21 days of coding al uh, coding challenge al programming bootcamp so we are in day 10 we are going to learn conditional statements of course we have already learned about the basics of conditional statements when we started to learn relational operators that is on day 6 but here i'll be explaining you what is if condition and also what is a case condition i'll show you how to create a multiple uh, if statement that is else if and multiple if conditions okay so th that is what the agenda for today so let us open the visual studio code and create a, a al a file with day 10 okay so this is day 10 so first of all let us understand that what is a conditional statement if you haven't if you are new to al programming and if you are new to this uh, video directly if you are coming to day 10 i request you to go and uh, please go and watch day 1 to day 9 because that i have covered the everything about al basics okay if you know uh, al programming already and if you just want to understand if and key statement then you are good to go here okay so open this visual studio code where uh, this al statement that is a conditional statement we are in conditional statements okay we are going to deep dive into the conditional statement which is used to test a condition so you will be having some conditions for example if the age is greater than this or if if the mark is greater than this or if employee is working here for greater than for more than five years what you should do likewise you will have various conditions to perform if you wanted to perform as condition and if you wanted to bring a result based on the condition then you have to go with the conditional statements so there are two important types of conditional statements in al programming one is if and second one is case okay uh, usually we will call case as a switch statement in other programming languages but here we will be using a case okay so if have multiple ifs like if else if etc so you have various if conditions so i'll be just uh, uh, telling you about what is if and how it is working and then we will just move on to the uh, switch case so t page okay i think i will just tell you what is a switch and then i'll move on to the uh, if because already we have discussed about the basics of if okay so this is the page and this is i'm just going to name it as if and switch okay if and switch we are going to discuss and here i'm not going to use any table name and in the layout okay so we just we'll just create a h okay h integer okay I, i'm just going to name it as an integer and here in the field i'm going to use the age okay and here in application area is equal to all let it be here and let us just uh, make it as t trigger so it will be validating something okay so t trigger on on validate okay t trigger on validate what it has to validate it has to validate the uh, h so i'm going to create a switch case here okay so how you can start the switch case you have to start with a case case okay and once if you create a case it will uh, have the end so the end should also be here in the case statement so end okay case and end so what is my case the case what is my uh, value here h uh, why are you showing this okay uh, okay case age of okay case age of so what i'm going to check here is what if the age is entered between 0 to 18 then it has to print a message called child if it is 19 to 16 it has to print a message called adult or else senior citizen or else you are not a human <laughs> okay so here how i can do see case is a statement conditional statement it is checking for the age so whatever the age you have entered so based on that age it will be you it will be giving you some message okay so here um uh, here you can see that we have uh, 0 to 18 okay if the field for example there will be a field age displayed will be it will be displayed there if you enter 5 it will go and print this condition okay so if you enter 5 it will go and print this condition so what it will show you it will show you that you are a child okay so if you enter uh, 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 59 it will tell you that you are an adult 
okay and if you enter uh, uh, between 61 to 100 it will tell you this if you haven't entered anything so it will show you you are not a human okay so uh, uh, here this is a case statement what based on the age whatever you are giving you it is jumping to that portion okay it is it will jump directly to that portion so let us just execute this code and see like how it is working so uh, it is showing the error here yeah our errors are cleared and i am just going to comment this action because i don't want this action to perform so i have commented this action here just save this and execute this code if case okay so this is if and case we are checking so we are in checking we are checking the case statement here so what happens so what is a case statement a case statement is also known as a switch statements if you already aware of any other programming language you might note switch statement which is used to handle multiple conditions and performing different actions based on the value of an expression it is more suitable when you have multiple possible values or conditions to check and want to execute different code blocks for a specific value. So case statements simplifies code readability when you have several mutual exclusive conditions to handle. Okay, so uh, this is where we will be using the case. So for example, if I am entering here 5, so what it is showing you are a child. Okay, if I am entering here 55, what it is showing? It will show you you are an adult so based on the value which i am entering here it is showing me that you are a senior citizen and if i enter zero and pressed it is it is showing like you are a child because i have at least entered zero okay so what is the condition i have given here is what i have entered zero to 88 okay so if i enter minus one here let us just try with uh, minus one and if i just go here so it is telling me that is you are not a human okay so this is what the case statement will do you have to start with a case so shall we write the same uh, same thing uh, for if statement okay so the same thing which we are going to write it for the if statement uh, so i am just going to create an age if okay this is also integer okay let me just go with an age uh, current age okay you should not confuse with age if and if so that is why i'm just making it as a current age so field uh age uh current age okay and i'm just going to open uh um field application area is equal to all on trigger let us just create uh let us just write it okay if current age is less than 18 okay then it has to print what it has to print a message uh you are a child it has to print me a message called you are a child and this should be inside the single quotes okay else if so else else if you have to write it uh like write it very clearly okay so else and else if should be very clearly given because this is a multiple else statement we are just adding it here so else you can you can you can have multiple things okay yes and then the next word in the next statement you have to start with if okay so current age is less than 16 then so here you should not leave this semicolon that is why it's showing you error here then message you are an adult okay yes yes because we need another if right else if if you just give if here so let us see what is the error it is showing else if current age is equal to uh, 100 then message you are a senior citizen and finally you have an else message uh, you are not a human okay and finally you have to close the semicolon so what happens here is what see if i wanted to write it with a multiple if okay so what are the things which i have to write see there are multiple statements involved if current age is less than 18 the same thing i have given 0 to 18 okay it is child so uh, if the current age is less than 18 you are a child if the else if the current age is less than 60 then you are uh, adult less than 100 you are a senior citizen or else you are not a human okay the same thing i have written with the if else else if condition what happens multiple conditions we are just trying to enforce here 
okay so even like this if you can give okay so since i just wanted to print a message only one message so i have written here without a semicolon you can see that this complete if block is ending here so i have given the semicolon here in between you if you give any semicolon it will throw you an error okay so don't give any semicolon but what if if you wanted to perform some addition if you wanted to perform some uh, more calculation or if you wanted to print more uh, statements then you can if you, if for example it has to print me this message and also it has to print me an another message try a different age okay so what happens here it is throwing me an error why because i am just trying to uh, uh, include multiple statements under this so if you wanted to add multiple statement under a single if condition then you have to start the begin and you have to end this here because to tell that my and my statement i have a block of statements which i am ending it here okay so you have to tell i have a block of statements and i am ending it here if you wanted to add uh, any any uh, sort of uh, uh, multiple statements or multiple lines here okay so you should also give it here fine so this is what begin and end you can use begin and end in between your uh, uh, in between your um, your uh, if block or anywhere but it should be properly given if you want this is called we call it as a compound statement so multiple statements involved in a single block of code okay so like this you can give it got it so you can write like this or else you can uh, go with the multiple if conditions like uh, this else if okay so everything are possible here in the if so this is what the difference between this case and else so what is the confusion here in the case it is very clear you can give from which to which okay a small two dots which allow you to tell you the range whereas here you have to use the uh, relational operator in if you cannot write a dot dot and all you have to use the relational operators if you didn't understand don't know what is a relational operator please go and watch the day 6 video which will help you to understand what is relational operator okay and here this is how you can execute let us just execute this code as well save this code and execute this code uh, so that you will get some idea about it so now you may get a confusion okay so what is if then what is else and when to use this if and else okay use if statement for a simple conditional check and binary decisions so if you have only simple condition even you can go ahead with uh, conditions like uh, four or five conditions but if it is more than that do, don't prefer if condition so use case statement when you need to handle multiple conditions and want to improve your code readability by specifying different actions for each conditions the choice between them depends on the complexity and nature of the conditions you need to handle your code okay so i am just entering the current age as 18 and if you just press it will show you you are an adult okay so that is what this is the difference between if and case statement and where to use it you have to decide it okay so i hope you understand this uh, uh, concept uh, conditional statement this is all about the conditional statement so tomorrow we'll be discussing about the system defined variables and what is the today's exercise is what please go and watch this conditional statement in business central i have explained here with a different set of uh, example if you are uh, intermediate to advanced level then this example will perfectly uh, help you this case statement as well watch this video separately and then i'll uh, you can do the homework uh, or assignment which i have uh, which i am sharing it in my blog okay i'll be sharing the blog link as well in the description please watch it thank you take care and bye bye